Hi there, welcome to this episode of Jabsco Tech. Today, we're talking about accumulator tanks. Well, Paul, what is an accumulator tank? This here is a Jabsco accumulator tank. And what this is, is a plastic housing. Uh, in the middle here, we have a, a rubber diaphragm or bladder. And then down the bottom is where the water flow goes. The top, we also have a, a Schrader valve, so we can put air into this to operate the system correctly. Well, what, what are they used for? So what the accumulator is used for is uh, to stop pulsations of the pump and also to give the pump greater longevity so it doesn't cycle as often so the system can use the accumulator pressure before the pump kicks on. So check this out. In some instances you'll have a big pump and a faucet that just can't keep up with that, with that pump. So what we do is we install the 4 GPM pump here and we're going to open up the faucet to get that, pu that pump to start pulsating. Go ahead. Alright, check it out. Pulsating, a bit more, and then just about there is right where it's pulsating. See, that means the pump is turning on and off real fast. You can almost hear the clicking of the pressure switch. That's not good for the pump. It's also loud. So, I just wish there was some way that we could install a, uh, an accumulator tank into this system. Can we do it? I think we can do it, Mike. Just give us a couple of minutes and we'll uh, take a look and get it done. Hmm. Ta da Check it out, we've got an accumulator tank in the system. That's amazing. So, same 4 GPM pump, accumulator tank, pressurized to 17 psi. So this pump is a cut out pressure at 40 psi, a cut in pressure at 20 psi, so you need to set the accumulator tank at 3 psi below the cut in pressure of the pump. Nice. Um, Paul, be okay. my guest, please. Let's check it out. Slowly. See, right now, the pressure is being drawn off the accumulator tank. The pump's not running. But once that pressure is exhausted, the pump turns on. No pulsating, no splashing, and the pump is a lot quieter. The pump will run for a little bit just to build up pressure in the accumulator tank and then shut off. Nice. Um, anything else that we need to know on this one? No, I think that's a great test, Mike. It really showed from the start where it was pulsating, a lot of splash, a lot of noise to an accumulator tank and, uh, and a nice, smooth running, quiet pump. One quick takeaway though. If you do go, to, go ahead and install one of these in your existing system, make sure you shut the pump off, disconnect the power and open up your faucets to relieve any pressure. Um, I know from experience that if you don't relieve that pressure and you take that little clip off, um, you'll get wet. So, anything else? Nice thought, Mike. No, I'm all good. That's a great system. Well, thanks a lot for watching this episode of Japsico Tech. I'm Mike Irving. And I'm Paul Campania. And we'll see you in the next video.